Around the world, violence against women and girls, especially rape, is skyrocketing. Many incidents have triggered widespread outrage, yet some keep trying to play the oldest game in the book, the blame game. Blame the COVID-19 pandemic. Blame social and economic stress. Blame uncertainty. Even outrageously, blame the victim. Usually a woman, or worse still, a girl. Blame anything, everything, but the perpetrator. Let's be really clear. Sexual violence, in any form of violence, is simply violence. There is absolutely no excuse. There is no justification. And there must be zero tolerance. All of us must stand together and speak out. Try by joining the EU and the UN initiative on Spotlight to fight violence against women everywhere, in our societies, our communities, and at home. I'm the proud mother of four daughters. But the loudest voices urging me to speak up came from my sons. And they said, Mom, this is already a dangerous issue. It's in our chat spaces. You need to do something about it. People will listen. I'm not sure people will listen. But if I can make a difference in one woman's life, then it is worth speaking about it. When I asked what they were hearing, they said it varies. Some say violence is not right, but others appallingly say women asked for it. Really? You and I know that men and boys who commit violence against women and girls are just simply not men. They're weak. It's shameful. They are, sadly, the textbook definition of a coward. And for those who turn a blind eye or deaf ear saying, it's a private matter, know that you too are accomplices to violence. Now we can agree to disagree, but because of these attitudes, millions of women and girls face the clear and present danger of the threat of violence and rape every day, at home, in school, and these days online. Men and boys, fathers and sons, husbands, we must have this conversation. Take responsibility, speak up, stand with women and girls. Let's join hands with survivors of violence, including rape. Listen to their stories. Let's call out victim blaming and shaming. Let's rally our communities to say no to gender-based violence. Let's remember that if not for a woman and her nine months of labor, I'm not sure that you men would be here today. So let's stand with our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, our partners, and together let's declare in one voice, I'm with her.